Why is it improper network design to have two physical NICs, one machine, same subnet, same net mask, same gateway, two different IP addresses? All I read and can see says to put two different IP addresses on one NIC. I thought if I had two NICs, I'd be better off for speed slash throughput. Why is it a wrong topology to have two separate physical NICs with the same subnet on one physical machine, two different IP addresses? Example. Why do they sell servers that are quad port if that is the case? Is it expected they will all be on different subnets and gateways? This all really depends on design of your service or topology. While I've never heard anything like that as law, I could see why it would be inefficient. If you are going to have two interfaces communicating in the same network slash subnet, you might as well just put them in an ether channel and not waste the additional IP address. As to why they sell four NICs, or any number more than one, on a single server really depends on the application running on it, but I can think of a couple reason. Ether channeling slash NIC teaming, redundancy is always a good thing. Sometimes just one additional port is enough, but maybe in the case of four someone is designing an ultra-redundant service. Security, lots of people use multiple interfaces in different networks to create very secure bastion slash jump slash hop boxes, software firewall slash routing. There are a handful of examples of software packages or even operating systems that actually act as a router or more network-centric security appliance. So multiple interfaces would be necessary for the device to participate in multiple physical LAN slash WANs, again this would specifically depend on design. If you're curious about this, go check out Viata. And sometimes, that's just what it comes with. At a previous job we had some pretty heavy-duty SQL databases that had four NICs, but we still only used one because we didn't need the others. Those are the few I can think of. When you have multiple interfaces with the same subnets on a given machine, you are going to have connectivity to the same network via multiple interfaces. Machine would not load balance and likely pick a single interface for sending traffic out. E.g. Juniper routers pick the interface with the least IP address. This URL. Multiple interfaces can give you redundancy but note that you can only have one default gateway ESP if this is a Windows server. I am not sure if other OS will load balance dual default gateway routes. Some redundant solutions include NIC teaming. Enable routing protocols like RIP or BGP on the server that can use all interfaces and learn the default route dynamically. Quad port servers usually use two ports for public slash production network, one port for private slash management purposes, one port for data backup. Sometimes, some servers and clusters use one or two ports for heartbeats slash keep loose. Thanks. Unless you use source routing all traffic from all the IP addresses on the same subnet will be sent using one of the physical ports. Source routing configures the routing table so that the egress port is selected based on the source address, and then the destination address is used to determine where to send the IP datagram from that port. You shouldn't have the same subnet on different NICs. What can and does happen with some operating systems and applications? You receive traffic on one NIC say E1A. The application or OS then decides to reply. It does not check which interface it received the data on only which network. It then sends data to that network. It will sometimes pick the correct interface E1A and sometimes it will send data on E1B and the client application will never receive the reply because it is using E1A. If you want to support the channel, please consider liking and subscribing.